Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing something, um, probably just randomly, um, called the quick draw session. So this means I will be teaching you how to draw something, uh, pretty simple and quick. And today we're going to be using the texture flaky to draw this. So I actually drew this this year in our class, um, not this full thing. We were supposed to draw a hand with different textures on them, and one of them was flaky, and so I had part of my pinky flaking off and then a bit of the bone showing. So I decided to implement this into a full hand. So if you guys would like to learn how to draw this today, I will be showing you, and uh, let's get on to the materials that you're gonna need to draw along with me. So let's go. So the stuff you'll need is pencil and paper, a Bristol board, and a fine liner if you want to go that far, and markers if you want to color your piece. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to first trace your opposite hand. So if you want your left hand facing up, you would trace your right hand down. And if you want your right hand facing up, you would trace your left hand down. Um, just because it's easier to trace your hand downwards than it facing up. All right, the next thing after you have it traced, I'm just fixing up the little loop between the fingers. Um, it was too uh, uh, short. So the next thing I'm finding is the where the wrist is on my left hand. So this I'm just uh, roughly tracing out uh, where my wrist is on my left hand and then I'm refining it. And then here I am refining the full hand. So I'm just doing it sketchy and don't worry about your lines being sketchy because you'll be fine lining them. Or if you're on sketch paper, then it doesn't really matter. Um, but this is just to straighten out in case your fingers look a little wonky or a little um, bendy. So this is just to straighten them out. All right, the next thing that you want to do is take your hand, uh, the one that's facing up, and you want to find the three folds in your skin. So the first one coming across the hand, and then the other one, uh, the, sorry, the two that are coming across the hand, and then the last one kind of curves and goes down the thumb, um, like that. And you just want to find those and just kind of lightly sketch them in. Um, and then the next thing you want to do is start erasing your fingers. Um, I erase them kind of on an angle, um, but you can do it kind of in like a wave motion, like up and down or um, you can just kind of do them on an angle. I would suggest you don't erase them in a straight line though, um, because that kind of doesn't really give the effect. And uh, don't forget about the thumb either. All right, and after you've erased all your, uh, the tips of your fingers or um, the middles of your fingers, then you wanna start doing some jagged edges on each and every one of the fingers. So the middle, the ring, and the pinky finger. And again, don't forget about the thumb. All right, and now it is time to draw in the bones. If you uh, don't really know what I'm doing right now, I can give you a better visual of it in a second, um, but I'll try to explain it. You're kind of just drawing inward curves and then just uh, making kind of an upside down U at the top. And then this one, I'm making a little curve um, and then I'm making the other part of the bone and then I'm uh, finishing off the thumb. So then here I am showing you, uh, first of all, the bones uh, to get a better visual, and I'm showing you um, the tip of the finger and the tip of the bone and the space in between them, because I think your bone doesn't go all the way to the tip of the finger, like you still have a bit of um, fat and skin there. So just to have it a bit more accurate, um, I wouldn't erase your fingers fully and just kind of leave the tip so you can kind of find where the bone goes. And for this next part here, completely ignore me because I'm totally wrong, and, uh, yeah. Alright, so, if you were, uh, sketching this, and you were doing it in, like, a sketchbook, uh, I missed it, if you're doing a sketchbook, um, th then you're done. Congratulations, you're done. You don't need to fine line or anything because it'll, it'll go through the paper. If you're doing it on a Bristol board or much thicker paper, um, you can follow along with the next step, and we will fine line, and then if you got markers, um, we will color it. So, let's get on to that. One thing I forgot to mention is don't forget to do all the little things that are coming off of the hand. Don't forget to do all these things, and um, a bunch of dots with the pencil as well. We'll, we'll do that uh, right now. Okay, so now you just want to do kind of these stretched out ovals, and... Um, Later on, I uh, start banging the paper to uh, put um, uh, 
like pencil markings, just like sl like little dots. Um, but this is sped up uh, right here. This is sped up, so I don't suggest you bang your uh, paper. But this, you kind of just want to do it uh, above the fingertips. So yeah. Okay, so now if you were sketching, you'd be done. Sorry about that, um, by the way. Um, now we're gonna go into fine lining. I am using just a regular old uh, fine liner sharpie here. Let me see if that'll focus. Here we go. Oh wow, that's dull. L let me get a new one. Uh, that's better. Okay, so now you would go in and fine line this now. Before you fine line, I want to warn you, do not uh, fine line this here. This is a reference for your um, markering. So, let me show you. So here, as you can see, I did not fine line this. This is just for the folds of the skin and where it's shadier. Um, so, obviously you could go more dramatic. Or for this one, I went just with uh, less. And um, yeah, so just fine line everything. Don't fine line this part though. Um, and then we'll get on to coloring next. All right, so here we begin to fine line the hand. Uh, this is pretty just, just straightforward. You kind of just do all the jagged edges and all the uh, hands. Just another quick reminder, don't uh, do the folds of the skin. Um, because you just want to do that with marker. Now, if you are fine lining this and you don't uh, want to use marker, you could um, fine line them. But if you're using marker, uh, just don't uh, don't fine line them. And uh, yeah, don't forget to fine line the bones and uh, all the pieces of the skin that are falling off. I know that can be a bit tedious. All right, everybody, now becomes the difficult part. Um, you're going to fine line each one of these circular, these ones right here, these circular um, kind of, I guess, pieces of skin. I don't know, it's kind of gross. Um, I don't recommend doing the dots because that'll take a long time. I just went with my pencil and just kind of went boop, 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 just everywhere. So I don't recommend doing those, but the ones that are just like circular like this. So let's, let's get onto that. All right, and if you don't like um, coloring, then you are done. If you do like coloring, then um, I suggest you erase all these lines here. So don't get rid of all of these dots, like these tiny dots, just get rid of these bigger dots. So let's get into erasing them. All right, so now it is coloring time. After you've erased all that, it is time to color. So, um, I'm using the Artist Loft markers. Uh, they're very nice. And I'll be using the brush tip if you have them. And if you have them at home, um, I'll be using the colors uh, YR14, E16, and N2. So YR14 is for the base color. The shading will be E16. And I know it, it looks lighter than the wire 14, but trust me, this is darker. And the, um, the, gr the gray will be for just the shading side of the bones. So, let me show you here. So, the side will be gray, as you can see there. And then this is E16 here. And this is E16 on the side here, and on the sides and under here. And so you just gonna, want to cover it in a base of wire 14 and then do E16 and all that stuff. And then you wanna fill in all these tiny ones with E16 as well. So, let's go on to that. So this one's super sped up, but this is kind of the process. You just wanna cover the base of your hand in wire 14, and then erase the lines of the 
like the pencil markings, and then you want to go over with E16, and then go back over all the shading with YR14. And after the coloring is done, your art is finally finished. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, and uh, you liked how yours turned out, thank you very much. I think this was pretty easy to draw, and I hope you enjoyed the drawing process with me, and I hope it was uh, well explained. If it wasn't, you can just leave me in the comments below, and if you uh, want me to do this again, uh, which I probably will, um, I got a couple more ideas to share with you guys, um, then I'll be doing that soon. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.